I didn't know you had a Lemmy tattoo. Yeah, yeah. It's right, uh, it's a little tiny one. They gave us five minutes to get it. Is that it or is it? Oh on the my side? god. Yeah. Dude, you got a five minute Lemmy know. tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, with Brent. Because we were shooting ride. We were in New Orleans and and we went by uh, a, a tattoo shop, uh, this this guy named Cornbread. And uh, we went in and Lemmy had just died. And we're like, we got to get a Lemmy tattoo. And they go, you have five minutes. And we ran in and got one really quick and ran out the door, Brent and I. To know that Brent, uh, our friend from Mastodon, the guitar player singer, was an inspiration for the Ant character and her friends. That's fucking cool, dude. Yeah. This this book is even more metal than I thought it was, dude. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. awesome. He's yeah. got. He actually, I think, used to jump trains with Cornbread, the guy that gave us the tattoo. I, I might be getting that story mixed up with another dude, but wow. Yeah, but you know, Brent, so... Brent's a good friend of mine. He's got all these great stories, yeah. and I kind of just ran with that in a di different perspective. Uh, yeah, and then the Jack character, you know, it it starts off, it starts off with him working at a bike shop. That was me, actually working in a bike shop in Venice, California, way back when. So, you know, down to our same tattoos in the book, almost. You know. I get so excited, Norman. I'm such a metal head and supporter. And when I see metal bands mentioned in mainstream books like this, and you physically talk about Slayer posters, Slipknot posters, Slayer songs being played in, in, in the background, uh, Slipknot t-shirts and shit. Itch is a big Pantera fan. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, like, yeah. this is fucking cool. One of the dudes <laughs> that hangs out with Hunter. So I was like, I was I was proud of you, dude, because I know that you are a fan of, um, of the music and stuff. Yeah. And I know you played bass uh with anthrax on stage before which is pretty cool i remember that happening i had yeah, i had a rock star moment there for a second i was i was super nervous uh you know i got out there and he, you know frank was kind of like dragging me out there i was like no 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 i'm terrified and he's like come on and uh frank bell of the bass player yeah, yeah and then uh and then uh i when it was over i got all excited and i took my baseball hat off and i threw it in the audience and i was immediately was like that was my favorite hat i was like <laughs> I was like, oh man. And then, you know, I didn't have shoes on because I came from the Walking Dead set. And uh, it was one of those mornings where I just ran out the door in my socks. And so I didn't have shoes. So I, you know, drove down to Atlanta from the set and I didn't have shoes. So I walked out on stage, you know, in just my socks. That's so cool. Day. But I remember yeah. you, uh, we were both watching Anthrax perform at the Revolver Golden Gods Awards uh, yeah. many years ago yeah. in New York City. Uh, that was a cool moment where you introduced Anthrax. And, um, you know, you're a great actor, dude. But just to see you introduce one of my favorite bands on stage and you had a really cool story with it, it, that meant a lot to see you do that, man. I was like, this dude's for fucking real, man. You're a, you're a fan of the music, man. So I love that. You know, Norman, you when know did it start for you? You know what's crazy too is it's different, but um, do you remember that Scorpions album cover with the forks in his eyes and he's screaming? Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, remember that? Not, that's not, is that Blackout? Or, yeah, uh, I don't Blackout. remember right now. Is it okay? It's yeah. Blackout, yeah. That painter, who's a, that's a self portrait of him, um, I'm friends with his daughter now, and she's an amazing, it, it, uh, her name's Mercedes Helnwein. His his daughter's a really awesome painter that lives out in California, and I have a ton of her paintings. A weird oh, combination. Cool. And I remember that. You know, I remember I remember my mom used to blast Pink Floyd the wall. Like she had these giant speakers, like you know, '70s speakers, and she used to blast that. And I used to get so lost in the artwork for that album. Like I would just hours, I'd just be lost in that artwork. And then that film came out, that animated film, but. Yeah, I've always I've always been a big fan of all of that.